Hey guys, uh, Jason here with Silver Ridge Home Inspections. Just wanted to give you a kind of a quick rundown of some of the things you're going to see and look for in a crawl space here. So I'm going to show you just a couple of things um, to look for um, when you're down here. This has kind of an annual checkup if you want to do it yourself. So anyway, is the first thing you want to look at here. So the first thing we're looking at is... If you can see, it's, this crawl space is pretty tight. There's insulation right above my head here. We got ducting, uh, vapor barrier. Um, but notice one of the things I noticed right away when I got down here is this white chalky stuff um, that runs along the, the footer here. And then you have your supporting walls right above it there. But one thing noticing right away is that looks like there's been water in here at some point that's been decently high. And that's what causes these, these white efflorescent marks. The second thing you can look at is these plumbing lines here. So you can see there's a couple of different things. The white ones are a PEX plumbing line. That's gonna be your supply lines for your water. The black one there is actually going to be your drain line. It's called ABS or black ABS. So that's going to be all your plumbing lines for all your drains, for your toilets, showers, kitchen sinks, and etc. Notice too, there's a couple other little things. There's this black wire here. That looks like it's probably a coax cable for like internet or something like that. There is a white wire there. That is a Romex wire, which is actually good. It's up in the air because it is off the ground. If that was something that was on the ground, that's something that we would ask to be uh, put up because you don't want, you know, any critters or anything chewing on it or any water getting to those. And then the last thing here is this orange line here. That looks like someone ran probably some sort of cable line or satellite, uh, internet, something like that. It's another coax line there. But again, uh, low voltage, just something that's could be hung a little better, but isn't really going to cause any trouble. Anyways, just a couple of quick tips, uh, some stuff that you'll see in your crawl space. Have a great day. So going forward here now, we've gotten further into the crawl space. And if you look at this flooring here, uh, like I was showing that, you know, there was water there uh, before. Looks like there is, you know, some possible microbial substance here in a few different areas. So when you do see signs of water like we did before, that can lead to possible microbial growth. So uh, again, looking at these foundational walls, this is a pretty solid line there where water has gotten before. And it goes, you know, quite a few ways, a uh, little ways down there. This could be just from negative grading on the exterior, you know, overwatering. Maybe there was like a heavy snow melt or something. But um, again, you can see, you know, sometimes water can lead to uh, possible microbial growth. Just want to give you a heads up. Thanks.